Welcome back to Discovery Viewers. Today, we're going to answer a question. Why do we ask for custodian name before processing data? Today, I'm joined by Min. Yes. And Min is a project manager who has a lot of experts talking to clients, uh, consulting them as far as processing specifications, uh, and of course, asking the question, can That's we true. know custodian for this set of data? One of the answers that clients give us usually is, why do you need to know custodian information? That's so why true. do you ask for custodian information all the time and tell us? Yes, uh, that's true because uh, custodian is the source of the data, mm -hmm. the, the owner or the origination, um, where it came from. It could be my mailbox or somebody else's mailbox, right. or is it a company mailbox? So that's a custodian information we need. But I know clients sometimes say, well, can't you guys just figure it out? Why don't you just look at the from information and use that as a custodian? Is it possible for us to do that? The from just mean this is the, the sender of the email, right. but it could be, even though I send you the email, it could be colored from your mailbox. So right. actually for that email, that will, you will be the custodian. Correct. If you send an email to me and it's being collected from my, my mailbox, I am the custodian of the data, even though you send it to me. That's right. So the yes. point here is custodian is not necessarily who created a piece of content, but who had it, who, held, who, who was in possession of the data at the moment. That's correct. So if files, copy, uh, collected from my computer, I will be the custodian. Mm -hmm. You know, even though it could be uh, the email you send is part of it, uh, right. you know, that will be, still be my custodian. Uh, the, so are there things that a client can do to help us figure out who custodian is for a large set of data? Yes, if um, mailboxes collection uh, from the server, it would, the best way is to create mailboxes PST by custodian individually. Mm -hmm. And that way you know which set of data is for which specific custodian. Right, so we'll, we'll take the PST name and we'll yeah. look at the names. Hopefully they'll be named by the custodian name and we'll use yes, that. Yes, you can you can processing. you can name it uh, in a different format, but you can just mm -hmm. let us know this PST is for this specific custodian. Right, and same thing applies to eDocs. If there are collections of eDocs, it, it's always helpful if they're folded by custodian. This way we can assign those names when loading the data. That's true, yes. Um, now we do have occasion when data comes from like a shared uh, server. Mm -hmm. And again, if it's folded by shared data, then we can also assign that as a custodian name, would be an entity custodian name. And that will help us organize documents yes. further. The shared data tends to be, um, it depends on the type of shared drives. Uh, mm -hmm. If it's a shared drive, which has a specific custodian as a you know, folder, then yeah. you can determine and you can uh, collect that way so we know which folder data belong to which custodian. Yes. Sometimes shared drive for the entire company. So in that case, uh, most of the time, the, end, the company entity would be the custodian of the data. Mm -hmm. Now, one other way we see data being foldered during an email collection is inside of a PST file. So sometimes when you open a PST file, you see folders with custodian names. Now that's actually a bad practice. That's true, I've seen those. Um, the client thinks because they are folder within the PST, they think, okay, you, you can determine the custodian. Uh, that is true post-process, but for processing and deduplication purpose, mm -hmm. uh, the PSD is just a one container, so unless we split up the PSD ahead of, you know, before the processing by mm -hmm. individual custodian, that's not the right way to uh, right. do the collection. We wouldn't be and able to assign custodian name at the time of processing. We're able to do it after the fact. Yes. But that is not advisable because, which takes us to the next topic, is using temporary custodian names. So there are times when you don't know who the custodian mm -hmm. is. And what clients ask us sometimes, can you assign a temporary name, you know, a placeholder name for a custodian? So there are times it's feasible, especially you have one Gmail box or the company email box that you know that belong to just one person. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you're just not sure the correct spelling yet yes. or then we can name it something um, uh, temporary or John mm -hmm. Smith and we can rename it as long as everything is one come from one source of custodian right. but you cannot later 
um, want you know split that oh okay only the first folder is one this custodian two, and, is yeah the then other. that will not work it will it will interfere with all the deduplication correct and the duplication you're talking about feels like a duplicate custodian name or duplicate paths yes. and those fields are being updated during processing or publishing so if you process or publish data under one name and you just go and change custodian name those fields will not be updated anymore Yes, that's correct. So that is, that is a downside of not knowing custodian name ahead of time and changing it afterwards. It's always a good idea to take a little bit of extra time, figure out where the custodians mm -hmm. are, um, assign them properly before processing, and then process the data. Yes, that's an excellent point. We could, like I said, we could redo all the custom work if it's necessary, but yes, it's better to take a little bit extra time and do it right from the beginning. So, Absolutely. Yes. Um, and one other question we may not have answered why custodian is so important is because it is part of production specifications. Yes, production um, On SEC specifications and pretty much all the production specifications we deal with, custodian is a field that's usually required uh, to be turned over. Right? Yes, custodian so, is yes, part of the production for many production, most of the production I know. All right, so that's why it's important to know accurate custodian name before processing starts, assign it correctly, and well, have it in your database. Yes. All right, thank you very much, men. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, you got any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Give us thumbs up yes. and all the usual YouTube, LinkedIn, social media stuff. Don't forget to check out VDiscovery and social media networks listed on your screen. And for previous videos, check us out on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.